guys i hope you guys are well i hope the fan is not loud i don't have my microphone right now it's in my bag and um i want to hook it up but i don't know like i this phone i'm using another phone so this phone doesn't have the app the other phone has the app anyways you guys won't un you guys won't understand what happened to well maybe you guys might understand but you guys won't guess what happened to me yesterday i'm explaining the other video i'm gonna post after this but i'm gonna just say this like these people don't stop it's like they're so obsessed anyways that's not the point of this word this word is about your heart this word is about who you are as a person and i was supposed to post this word yesterday but god told me to wait because i was feeling really sick yesterday but i want to just say this not everybody is meant to experience your heart not everybody's meant to experience you as a person like get to know you talk to you etc not everybody deserves to be around you or to experience you because some people when they see you have a good heart they'll take advantage of you not only that they'll not only will they take advantage of you but they'll also do very evil things you have to understand that god made you very precious right he made everybody precious but there's some people that use their free will to do wickedness and to do evil. And there's some people, their mindset is just messed up, okay? And the kind of person you are, God does not want anyone to manipulate you or to change you. So sometimes you may be like, God, why can't you show this person that I care? Why can't you show this person how much I love them? Or why can't you show this person that I'm a good person? Not everybody deserves to see your heart. There's wicked people out here. Not everyone deserves to see your heart, especially people who will literally judge you before they even get to know you, who will make specific assumptions about you, who will sit there and ridicule you before even knowing you. They definitely don't deserve to know, to know your heart, to know who you are. They don't deserve to see your heart. God protects what is precious to him. Your heart is precious to him. You get what I'm saying? Your heart is precious to him. There's far too many wicked and evil people out here. I'm telling you, some people don't deserve to see your heart. They don't deserve to know who you are. They don't deserve to know anything about you. Another thing I want to say is, you know, there were times where I'm like, God, why do I attract so much nonsense? You know, and many of you guys may be asking God the same things. And you're like, why would people who claim they're going through the same things that I'm going through, who claim that, you know, they're being attacked or they're going through struggles why do they presume to struggle to sorry presume to attack me as well why do they do this as well you have to understand something god will not show everybody your struggle not everyone deserves to see your struggles and not everyone deserves to see what you go through and some people think that when god shows people their struggles it's going to change their whole perception of the person and change their mind of the person and that's not always the case not everybody's like that there's some people god will show them your struggles and they will have a clean heart towards you after that because they're going to be like man i had no idea that this person had to go through that you know i feel bad for even judging them or thinking this way about them there's people who have this type of heart who when God shows them your struggle, they will sit there and they will reflect and they will feel convicted and they will apologize, they'll repent. But there's some people out there who are so wicked that if God was to show them your struggles, they would laugh. They will be so happy to see you going through it. So even if you look like, okay, you're well put together in the physical, you look like you ain't going through nothing. Listen, if God was to reveal to some of these people what you had to go through in the spirit, and he would show them in dreams and visions what you had to go through. Some of these people will have smirks on their face. Some of them will be happy to see that you're going through that. Some of them would. Do you know how many people has, have sit there and, and told me, Steph, God showed me what you went through. Yet some of these very people that God showed who, what I went through to, some of them ended up treating me just like everybody else. Knowing what I went through. You ever experienced that where like people know what you went through? They saw you struggle. They saw the tears that you wept. They saw the weaknesses, like as in like you're not weak, as in like the weaknesses, as in the things that may have made you cry, the things that may have bothered you or triggered you or the trauma. It doesn't mean you're weak. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses, but it doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're vulnerable. So they will see these things that make you vulnerable, right? Yet they will be happy secretly inside they're happy to see you going through that reason being is because they don't want the best for you they don't care about you there's some people god won't show them your struggles god won't show them what you go through because they don't deserve to see it because they're wicked like god will show me specific well-known public figures 
he has shown me i'm gonna i'm gonna he showed me a lot but i'm gonna talk about this particular lady god showed me this particular lady and she looks so polished on the outside she has so much going for herself she's successful but god showed me in the spirit her most vulnerable moments the moments where she was on her knees praying to him the moments where she cried out to him the moments where she locked herself in a room listening to gospel music like god showed me these vulnerable moments about this woman showing me how she is just like us she bleeds like us she's human like us and how she gets attacked just like us and how you know, yeah, she's successful, but she goes through warfare like we go through warfare. There's people that do witchcraft on her, just like they do witchcraft on us. But then, because there's people that don't notice about this person, that she's vulnerable and everything, they will sit there and they will drag her name through the mud. And they will sit here and call her everything but a child of God. And they will sit here and ridicule her and, and persecute her, yet she ain't even bothering any of them. She's done nothing to them. They don't even know anything about her personal life, but they think they know it all. It just shows that God will only show your most vulnerable moments to those who are meant to see it. Yes, there's some people that may see your vulnerable, vulnerable moments in the physical. Or they may see things in the spirit about you. And God will show it to them. And they will still be envying you and jealous of you and being bitter. Right? But that is between them and God. There are some people out there who don't deserve to see anything about your life. Whether good or bad, they don't deserve to see anything about your life. As in, they're not going to get an inch or an ounce or a speck about your life. Because why? They don't deserve it. They don't deserve to see you. They don't deserve to know anything about you. They don't deserve to even experience you or experience your heart. They don't deserve any of that. Some of these people, let them stay where, they're, let them stay where they are. They don't deserve to know anything about you. Good and bad. Because some people, when they see what you had to go through, when they hear what you had to go through, some people are happy to see you struggling, to see you suffering. And some people will even envy your struggle, envy your pain, which is very sickening, but it's the truth. They envy it because they know that that testimony is life-changing. That testimony is going to bring in support. Because why? That's all they're focused on. They're not focused on what you had to endure. They're not focused on how you overcame it. They're not focused on how you changed your life. They're not focused on you being a new person. They're not focused on that. They're focused on what comes with the what comes with that testimony, the rewards that are behind that testimony. That's what they're focused on. That's what they're focused on. Understand that some people, they just don't deserve to know anything about you, to know anything about your heart. To experience you and this is why God may not show everybody what it is you had to go through this is what and sometimes when you feel like God is not showing people what you had to go through and who you truly are you feel like God ain't defending you God is defending you he's protecting you because not everybody deserves to see and deserves to know what you went through and what you're going through God is protecting you just because God don't show somebody what you're going through and how much you care about them and how much you love them and how big your heart is doesn't mean God is not defending you. No, God understands that that person does not deserve to know anything about you. That person deserves to be in the unknown when it comes to you. Period. You have to understand that. There's some people out there that are so wicked. It don't matter how good of a heart you have. It don't matter how much you love them. It don't matter how much you care about them. Once they made up their mind about you, regardless if what they heard or what they think is false once they made up their mind about you that's it they're not going to change their opinion about you reason being is because they're going to look for any reason to validate their dislike towards you they'll look for anything even if it's a lie they're going to look for more lies to add on to those lies to add on to those lies to add on the, to those lies because they've already made up the, they've already made up their mind that they don't like you and they have to look for reasonings to validate this to make themselves feel better because they don't want to believe that they're a hater they don't want to believe they're envious. They don't want to believe they're bitter. They don't want to believe they have to change. They're prideful. They're egotistical. They're narcissistic. So instead, they have to look for reasons to validate their dislike towards you. Let them go on and make them stay there. You keep doing you and you keep shining your light. And you keep being a good person despite how people treat you. Because the right people that are meant to see your heart, they're going to see your heart. The right people will. You see what I'm saying? The right people will. Understand that. You have to understand that not every ear that is listening is an ear to God. Remember that. Not every eye that is watching you is an eye to God. Remember that. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.